Hey guys, welcome back to Gator Garage. My name is Mike, and today we are going to do a little video on how to show you guys, at least for me, the best way to read the codes that are on your engine computer in your car. So you have the check engine light on, and you don't know what it's on for. Um, the computer has codes stored in it, which will basically tell you what the problem is. So say for example P0301 I happen to know that that is a uh, number one cylinder misfire so if you happen to see that in your car check engines light on you don't know why you can check that and see what it is now for me you can go to AutoZone you can go to advanced auto parts or any of those O'Reilly's places and they'll scan it for you and they'll tell you what the code is <clears throat> that's kind of inconvenient to have to go and do that and most people nowadays have a smartphone which is pretty cool because they have this device which is a small little tiny thing here and I'll show it to you in a second it will plug into your car and uh, once you plug it in there it'll connect to your phone via Bluetooth your, your phone is super capable it has a high processing power and it can do all kinds of great things that you know it's having basically having a computer in your pocket so it's kind of pointless to go and buy something totally separate that is only going to be used for that particular purpose so a scanner for 40 or 50 bucks for the cheap ones now <clears throat> if you have one of those they'll work just fine they'll tell you the codes you'll be able to figure out what's wrong if not this is what you want to get here i'm going to actually go to the page where I bought it here, which is on Amazon, I'm going to show you the two things that I, well, there's an app for your phone, and this is, as far as I know, will work with Android, I don't know about iPhone, I haven't looked to see if this is on the Apple Store, uh, but anyway, so you're going to need the little device, which you can get on Amazon, and I'm going to show you that right here, and also you're going to need the program, which goes on your phone, and that costs about $4.95 and I totally recommend it. It's got a lot of great features and I'll show you that up here next as well. All right, so the program that we're gonna be using here is uh, Torque Pro and you can actually get this on Google Play. Like I said, I don't know if this is available for Apple, so uh, let's actually look and see. Let's just do a quick little look here. Um, it doesn't look like the exact one is available, but it does look like there are other ones available that will work for you if you don't get Torque Pro. I just happen to have this one, so it's the one I can recommend. And if you go in here and look, obviously you're going to do this on your phone. It's $4.95. This is the icon, so you know what to look for. And um, it's got pretty good reviews, as you can see here. And I, I highly recommend it if you don't uh, have something already to check your codes. Um, this, in conjunction with OBD2 Bluetooth, and I will show you the one that I purchased as well here. Now, I bought these blue ones before like this, and they did not last for me. I don't know why, but the one that I have now, and you know, like this blue one here, I've also bought those plenty of times, and they don't seem to last very well. What I did buy this time was this one right here, the BAFX products, and it works great. I wouldn't recommend these blue ones. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if the internals are different or what's going on, but I blew up two of these fairly quick, and I didn't even really use them that much. This one I have experience with, and I really like it. I've used it with that Torque Pro app, and it has great compatibility. Um, and as you can see here... Um, it's $21.99. If you are interested in grabbing one of these, go ahead and click the link in the description. You can even leave this plugged in all the time as you look down here. This is uh, just an extension cord. You can plug this into this and then just like stuck it up inside of your dashboard and leave it there all the time. So then when you go to the app, you can actually uh, just bring your phone in the car and it'll automatically connect and you'll be good to go. You'll be able to do logging and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm going to go and plug this into the car, and I'm going to show you what uh, it looks like on the phone as well, so you know what to expect. Alright guys, so this is the uh, OBD2 interface that I've been talking about, um, and I had it in the Jeep, so that's what I wanted to show you. That's what you're looking for. Um, definitely pick one of these guys up. Link will be in the description, because we can't put it anywhere else. Anyway, check one of these out. So I'm going to plug it into the car now, which is going to be... Right down here on this one, which is my Jeep. Plug it in, and it lights up. And 
and we got to turn the uh, ignition on and get the car running. So I'm going to go back to screen recording mode rather and show you guys what this looks like on the uh, screen recording. So then you'll know what to expect if you uh, decide to get this. All right, so we got the OBD do plugged into the car and we got our Torque Pro app up and running here. Oops, wipers. Okay, so you can see here that's showing my revs down in the bottom and there's a couple of other things on here as well. Now, one of the cool things about this that I really like, which can help with diagnostics a lot, is the graphing option here. I'm just gonna kind of show you some of this stuff. Line char, a thousand data points, and we're gonna choose, uh, let's see, what sensor do, you, do we, what would we like to choose here? Um, and we can choose multiple ones, so. Um, just to give you an idea, this is all the stuff that you can log as you're driving. Um, let's see, engine coolant, temperature, driver engine demand, engine load. And we'll go with, let's see what else we got. As you can see, there's quite a few in here. And let's do voltage too, just for the heck of it. And then choose OK. And then choose OK. And then we will start playing. And now as we drive, this will change and log all of this data. Super, super helpful if you're trying to determine problems. Um, you can go back and look at this. You can export these files. Um, now, I'm not gonna really do this. Just to give you an idea, you can see, let me give it a little wrap here. I'm not sure if you can hear the engine. See that? So. You can uh, just keep an eye on this stuff and see what goes on. Um, you know, it's better to know this stuff than to not. So that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. Um, you can stop this logging right here, and then there's ways to share it if you want to. Just gives you an idea what you can do with this. Um, and, you know, you can r really get some good information out of it. Um, there's other stuff you can do as well. So we're gonna go to where it says fault codes and we're gonna see what fault codes come up here. All right, so we're getting a map sensor problem, which is what we figured. Um, and I'm just gonna let this scan here. There we go, clear fault on ECU and okay. All right. Completed, no more fault codes. Um, this is a add-on that you can get for this, which will give you this overlay so you can uh, record and um, see information at the same time. Go back. Um, you have real-time information, so you can edit these screens here. There's many of them, and you can choose what you would like to uh, what you would like to add on here. There's a lot of different options. Um, this one up here at the top shows a lot of little bit of information, a lot of different information uh, points. You know, overall, it, it's got a lot of different stuff. I and mean, you can add new displays to this by doing a long press. And these are all different options that you can add in there. So, <clears throat> just to give you an idea, I think for $20, you, $20, six dollars total once you factor in the cost of the program and the cost of the uh obd2 sensor so yeah go ahead and grab one of those it is definitely worth it best deal for a car scanner tool uh, especially for diyers even for a mechanic i mean you could go and spend thousands of dollars on a scan tool now of course the snap-on and those types of scan tools are going to give you a lot more functionality than this will but still logging and all that you're you're not going to be able to really beat that for 25 bucks i mean in reality that, that's that's um a pretty high quality thing right there so and if you have to buy another one it's another what 26 bucks if it doesn't work for you or something hey you're only out a little bit of money not out thousands of dollars so definitely check one of those out guys um we'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick one up definitely uh check that out if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to add please leave them in the comments below um, please like and share this out if you uh, really like this video. 
and uh, once again 300 subscribers I want to thank everybody out there has subscribed to our channel uh, we are going to be doing a giveaway coming up here pretty soon I'm not exactly sure what it is yet but we want to do something for our subscribers 300 is a, a huge number for us so we really want to do something nice and if we um, we'll do a video in the future about that here coming up soon but that'll be just for our subscribers so please stay tuned and uh, we'll see you guys next time